What's up guys? Welcome to the Transient Shape and Shoot Help. Hey guys, it's Harry from Whipped Cream Sounds here and today we're going to be going over my five favourite free Transient Shaper plugins that are absolutely incredible. Before we start this video, I'm just going to do a little shootout. I've tried to keep the settings on these Transient Shapers the exact same as each other so we can tell the difference, but we're just going to have a little sound shootout now. I'm going to change it every two to three bars to different ones. So if you want to skip this section, I'll leave little chapters down the bottom so you can skip this section onto the individual descriptions. Or if you just want to watch this session and have section and have a listen and then move on, then you can do that too. First, we're gonna start with my absolute favorite free transient shaper plugin there is, which is the Auburn Sounds Quatuor or Quatuor, I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have a listen to these different transient shapers and they do what all transient shapers do, which is just accentuate or not accentuate the peaks. And we're just gonna have a listen to this through Quatuor. And as you can hear, I've got the sharpen on right now, which is basically just kind of adding a peak to those transients. And it's also kind of like sucking the snare in a little bit. It just sounds absolutely awesome. Now you do have a couple of options in this plugin, which are pretty cool. You've got the detection modes, three different detection modes. One's flat, one's human, and one's Sybil. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't really know how they detect things, but having three different detection modes for your transients is always cool, especially in a free plugin. The more kind of control you have, the better. And down here, you've also got a bass amount, which allows you to detect the amount of bass that is in the detection, basically. The amount of bass that's gonna be taken into consideration in the detection. Now this is pretty cool if you want to add kind of like top end to acoustic bass or not acoustic bass like just bass to like the pluck of the strings kind of thing and you don't want to have the bass be affected in there like the sub end of the bass then you can do that with this transient shaper plugin which shall not be named. Then over in the middle you've got the speed front and back. So this kind of like changes the attack of the transient and the front and back changes the sustain of the attack transient as well. And sharpen makes it go, you know, sharp. And then this side just makes it go, you know, less, less, less of a transient. It just sounds really, really good, man. And then if I take the back the transients, you'll hear it kind of like makes things a lot more like kind of parallel compressed in a way. And this one just brings it in and sharper. Really, real sharp. Ooh, that's a nice parallel compression on that. I must start using transient shapers for parallel compression. Damn. Then over here, you've also got some dry and wet knobs and a mix amount, which is really nice because you can blend the sound in as well. And then you've got a nice little grayed out saturation plugin, which is locked because we're poor and we can't afford the pro version. Anyway, that is whatever that's called. Uh, so we're gonna go on to the next one, which is Bittersweet. And Bittersweet is my next favorite transient shaper. And I played around with the settings in this and it seems like you have to turn this up more because the output gain is linked to this to hear the same amount as you're gonna hear in the one that's not gonna be named. It's a little bit less functional than the Auburn Sounds one. We've got fast, medium, and slow, which basically is 
your kind of attack and release settings for the transients. And then you've also got a main center and a stereo, which is basically for like what they say on their website is to do with like mid side stuff. So basically, I can't remember what main does, but center is basically like your mono, your mids. So if you had mid side EQ, that would react on your mids and then you can change the transients on just the sides of the stereo field, which is really, really a cool functionality for a free transient shaper. Now, I'm not sure how useful that is. I don't know whether I'd be able to use that to its full capability, but someone here might be able to, but that's not really what we're here for. We're really here to see how it reacts to transients and how it kind of nips them in the bud and how it makes them bigger. So let's just have a listen to what I've got here. And I don't know if you can hear between the two of them, but I just find that Auburn just really nips those snares in nicer and it just makes them sound a lot more like, which is what I want. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than, you know, the sound you want from the snare. Anyway, so like, this is really good. You turn it up bitter and it will basically add attack. And if you go for sweet, it takes the transients off. And as you can hear, that's just kind of like squashing everything a bit more, whereas Bitter is just adding a little bit more attack to it. Now you can change the output here and you can bypass it up here and you can change some of the settings in here as well. You can also turn off the link between the output and the gain down here, which is probably, you probably don't want to do that, but I mean, you could if you wanted to. There are some situations where you might want to do that. Anyway, Bittersweet is a great pick of a transient shaper. It's going to do the transient shaping job for you. Whether it's as good as Auburn sounds, so you decide. Then the next transient shaper we got on the list is Transpire. And Transpire is another great free transient shaper. Now, it's got a bit of an ominous display. It is third on my list just simply because of the sound quality. Now, this one affects the attack. This one affects the sustain. Um, and I can't remember what that one does, but this one affects the output as well. You can also resize it, which is kind of cool. Um, it does get a bit blurry as you resize it a little bit bigger and things like that. I like to keep it as small as it is, but let's just take a listen to how this sounds. The next best free transient shaper is for Windows only. And now the only reason I put this so low is because it's, it's Windows only. So if you have a Mac, then sorry, you might wanna skip. This is probably one of the best transient shapers on the list because of the sheer amount of customizability it has within it. Now, if we have a look at this little advanced tool down here, which I had open anyway, is it am I gonna open again? No, that's saying it's the best and now it's frozen. <laughs> Typical. So as I was saying, this transient shaper has a lot of stuff in the advanced section and it's really, really useful for a mixing scenario. It's got a ton more capability than any of the other transient shapers on this list in terms of dialing in an exact sound that you want. For instance, it's got a load of cool stuff over here where you can monitor just the attack that you're applying or just the sustain that you're applying or the left and right channels if you so wish. And it's also got some detection filters down here as well as a transient detection range which like the open sounds one has so you can detect more low transients or less high transients depending on the sound that you're affecting and want the transients to come out but it's all well and good that it can do a lot of cool stuff but how does it actually perform against the other transient shapers <laughs> Or 
although it is a really customizable transient shaper and it could be very very useful for mixing purposes it just does not achieve the same sound as the Auburn Sounds does but that's not to say you shouldn't download it it's a wicked plugin with a ton of customizability and is probably more useful in a mixing scenario where you really want to dial in a sound because you can't do that stuff with the Auburn Sounds one if you're on Windows this is definitely one worth checking out so go down to the description over to the article click the download link and yeah just see see if you like it or not the next one on this list is Ableton specific and it's built into Ableton and it's something they call drum bus which is the audio an audio effect over here somewhere but it has a little transient thing built in now this is a pretty cool plugin because you can add drive crunch boom to your to your drums and you can also change the distortion curves and things like that and add compression as well all in one place which is absolutely incredible but what we're going to focus on in this video is the transient shaper and it's a pretty decent transient shaper considering it's only got this it, it applies a bit more compression than the other ones do but let's just take a listen it just really like beefs things up And as you can hear, it really beefs that up, but it just doesn't react with the transients very well. It sounds like it's compressing things a lot more than it should. And it sounds like it's applying to some distortion, even though it shouldn't be applying distortion because I haven't put anything on. It's a good transient shaper plugin to use inside Ableton and is a great plugin that you should be using maybe alongside a different transient shaper for some kind of like distortion effects and stuff like that. But this one's quite limited. So as a bonus, I know I did say I would only include five free transient shapers, but I'm going to include a sixth free transient shaper which is the transient shaper audio effect rack now surprisingly enough this actually sounds better than the drum bus does and it it has more control. If you're on Ableton and you don't want to install any third party bloat and you just want to use the Ableton plugins and save your CPU, then this might be the shout for you. Just take a listen here. And as you can hear, it really does work quite well. It kind of contends with these transient shapers over here, but it just doesn't quite have the same like sparkle that they do. That's not to say it isn't a great transient shaping tool though. It's definitely worth taking a look at. So if you do want to go grab this, go check the description and the article and the download link will be there. There is one thing to note about this transient shaper though, is that it's not fully a transient shaper. It sounds like it's a transient shaper, but it's not because it's compressing things and not applying expansion. With actual transient shapers, you can apply ex expansion or compression dynamically depending on the settings that you have dialed in over here. This transient shaper only applies compression unless you come over here and change from the expansion and then it's not a dynamic interchangeable thing like most transient shapers are. This one's also threshold dependent which is different to the other ones because the other ones are threshold independent which basically means they can dynamically react to your signal rather than being a set threshold down here at minus 20 or whatever you have it set to is this is set to the sustain for whatever reason either way it's a pretty good transient shaper plugin it's definitely worth looking at if you're an ableton user it's got a really nice workflow to it you can just close all that stuff down here and open up your beautiful transient shaping rack and it sounds great as well even despite the fact that it's not actually a full transient shaper another little bonus tip for you at the end of this video is if you go down to the description down there you can make me feel happy by clicking the like button or you can make me feel sad by clicking the dislike button so choose wisely if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to be doing loads of stuff on sound design. I've already done stuff on medicine and Mr. Carmack. I've got Flume to do and loads of other cool stuff like 53 Thieves. And I actually take requests from people over on my Facebook group and in the comments section below. So if you want to ask how to make a sound or a certain style, I will get round to making a video for you 
to help you with that. While you're down there, also be sure to check out the free download section over on our website where we're giving away tons of free samples, resources for music theory, serum packs, like you name it, and we're adding it to it constantly over time. So it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and better for you guys. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for being me with the being with me in this video and I will see you in the next one.